What's up guys, this is Ponage Machine here, bringing you some really awesome Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. We are playing on Village. I don't think I've posted a Village gameplay since the very first game. You know, the live com I did, the first game I played ever on Modern Warfare 3. But yeah, so anyways, I am using one of the most underrated guns. As you can see, I am using the M16. And let me tell you, this gun is really good. A lot of people don't give it credit. I honestly haven't given it credit. This is the first procedure I've actually really used it. It said that I've gotten like 160 kills with it and 150 of them are from this prestige. So, yeah, I've actually given this gun a chance and it is badass. Just one tip I recommend if you're going to use this gun. I would definitely run specialists and use, like, your first. I would use sleight of hand, quick draw, marksman because... What happens when you're using an M16, you know, it's not a close-up gun. It's not meant to be, I'm going to shoot you and from five feet away. It's meant to be a long-range power sniper type gun thing. But, yeah, if you use Marksman, it really gives you a better chance of seeing some people and being able to hit them from farther away because it's like two bursts from far away, which is really good. And especially, I'm using I'm using M16, or yeah, I'm, I'm obviously using the M16. I can't talk, okay? It's like 10 in the morning, I don't care. But, I'm um, using Red Dot Side and Rapid Fire, so, it's a really good gun. Definitely use Marksman on it. And then, I would do Specialist and then Scavenger on for the Specialist and run it like that, because that way it works really well. Anyways, that was just kind of my quick intro. I didn't mean to talk about that first. I actually had two other things to talk about. One is my PVR is still screwed up. For some reason, it is, um, I don't know how to say it. The, com the composite cable or component cable just decided to go and screw up. I don't know, but I might take it back, probably get a different one. Anyways, I wouldn't, expect I wouldn't expect any delay in videos from me, so just so you know that. One other thing is, in that Modern Warfare 3 Xbox unboxing video, I um I had you know I had the extra copy of MW3 and I said hey I might sell it I might give it away I might blow it up I don't know what I'll do with it so I got a lot of people asking me to give it away and so I decided to do that but it is not an open giveaway I have already picked somebody that I am giving it away to it is one of my friends I'm not going to name his name because somebody might just go and scream at him or something I don't know but anyways he cannot or he, he doesn't have Modern Warfare 3, which when I had first gotten it, and I was like, okay, if I'm going to give it away, I want to make sure I give it away to somebody who doesn't have it or who can't get it. So he doesn't have it, and, yeah, and he hasn't he hasn't begged me about it. You know, I've talked to him for a long time, one of my better friends on here, and, yeah, so I decided to give it to him. And then the reason I decided not to do an open giveaway on at YouTube is, is because what would have happened is I would have maybe gained 20, 30 subscribers from it, right? A lot of people liking my video, and then they would only like this video if it was a giveaway video. I only like this one. They'd be like, Ponage, give it to me, give it to me, and just begging me to give it to them. And then as soon as, soon as I announced a winner, if I announced a winner who I even knew, they would be like, oh, you picked somebody on purpose. And I would lose all, I would definitely lose all the channel growth I'd gain from it. So it would be a complete wash to give it to some random person. So I decided to give it to one of my real nice good friends that I've talked to for a long time. So that's my decision on that. So hopefully you guys will understand. I think it's a very logical decision. Anyways, I don't care about that. What I wanted to talk about really was the gameplay. And because I did not announce what happens in this game, guys. I don't know, should I leave it a secret? Gotta, I don't know, should I, should I? Nah, I'll go, I'll go ahead and spoil it. Go ahead and spoil it. I don't know, right here I'm like, I don't know, 15-0? I think you can guess what's gonna happen in about 10 kills, huh? So anyways, that's the thing. You saw me using the M16, the rapid, with using rapid fire, it makes it like one burst kill usually. That was, I think that was about the closest call I had that game. It was right there, that guy shot at me in that corner. But, so... The M16 just runs out of ammo super fast. See, just go pick up some scavenger ammo, and that's why you got to use scavenger. See, because it, the M16 really is really good. I just, I don't think nobody ever gives it credit, honestly. How many people do you see actually use the M16? But I think, you know, I think it's a really good gun, honestly. Now, 
It's funny, the first prestige I had, you know, my favorite two guns were the ACR and, I don't know, maybe like the PP90. I've gotten completely away from those guns, honestly. I don't, I don't, I, I have a PP90 and an ACR class, but I hardly use them. I go for using stuff more like this. So, by the way, a long time ago, I said I was going to try to do gold gun gameplay. And I've, trust me, I've gotten plenty of gold guns. It's just, I keep prestiging too fast, so. I don't know what I'll be able to do with gold gun video, guys. Probably, I don't know, later on in my prestiges. So, alright, anyways. You can see, using specialist. Specialist is the only strike package to use when you're going for what I was going for. Actually, I don't. Even, I wasn't even going for this. I just started doing really well. And then I was like, hey, wow, I'm doing really well. Maybe I should go for this. But you can see, I'm not I'm not camping, right? I'm moving along an area, trying to patrol an area and keep it clear. Because what what's happening right now is we are getting spawn trapped at B, which means they've got guys from C and A coming, and it's just a whole stupid mess, and it's just crazy. But anyway, so... I kind of camp a little bit, guys, but if you're on a 23 kill streak, then you would understand. Look at that! Look at it go! This was at like 2 in the morning last night, and what's really funny about this, you know, second Moab I've ever gotten, and I was playing with Yum Yum 890, I think is the numbers. I don't know. Why do people put dumbass numbers in their name, Yum Yum? Come on, dude. Anyways, there he is in the middle. But, so anyway, the game of 4, he had put Moab as his clan tag, just kind of as a joke. And the next game I got a Moab. It was funny. Look at that. See, guys, it's the only time I'm going to get a multi-kill. You see that? I don't even know how many kills it gives you. Probably. Does it give you six kills? It should just automatically, even if somebody's dead, it should just automatically, like, give you a kill for everybody in the game. But anyways, so there it is. That's my second Moab of my life. And, yeah, I'm glad. I can't believe I got it now because... I, it's funny, I, I couldn't ever get one again after that first one. That first one was with the PKP. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> yeah, still a little bit of cough. But I couldn't ever get another Moab after that. I've tried and <coughs> I've gotten numerous, num I'm saying I, I've gotten at least 20, 20 kill streaks. There's, I get so close so many times. Like, I know some of my friends may have seen this kill cam that I had put in my file share. But it is a kill cam on C Town where I was on a 19 kill streak in drop zone, and I had I had actually picked up an MK14 after like five kills because I ran out of ammo. So I'm using an MK14 and get to a 19 gun streak, right? And this guy has a striker, gayest thing I've ever seen. He's sitting on the drop zone, and then all of a sudden he turns to the right because I just killed somebody, and he starts hit firing even though I'm not there. He walks around the building just continually spraying, hits me with one shot behind the wall and killed me. And I just like threw my controller at the wall. I was so pissed. But yeah, I've been I was trying to get a um MOAB on drop zone forever. And then one of my friends showed my game and one like a couple games got one, so anyways. Just glad I got one. Got another Moab. I know Moab's probably not anything special now because it's just so far into the game, almost three months after release, not two months, I'm sorry, two months after release, and everybody's got mods. I'm sure everybody, one, every one of you follows somebody who's a huge commentator, who's bigger than me, but see, people may have bigger channels than me, but I know my fans like me better, right? Right? Maybe? Okay, I'm pulling some cloud here, and you guys are leaving me hanging. This this isn't cool, guys. This isn't cool. Nah, but anyways, so... I'm sure, like, I know Fear Creds did, the, he did 25 days of Christmas, and, there goes my phone, bastard phone, shut up. Um, he did that 25 Moabs at Christmas, and I'm like, damn, I can't get two Moabs, let alone 25. But, I guess, see, the thing is, w the way you have to play Modern Warfare 3 is you gotta have a full party. If you don't have a full party of six, then you are just screwed, because, I mean, you can't really do anything, like, Right here, playing. You gotta at least have somebody. I've that Moab I got where I was playing by myself was crazy. If you look at any of the bigger commentators, and this is why I've actually, I've actually kind of degraded what I think of bigger commentators from this. The way bigger commentators always do really well, and some of them brag about it a lot. I like, go, oh man, I'm so good. I can do this every game. 
Well, when you have a party of six and your teammates are pretty much going to do whatever they, whatever you tell them to because you're just a big YouTuber, then it kind of defeats the purpose of having any skill. I mean, like last night, just kind of as a joke, we, me and Yum Yum tried to do the spawn trap thing and completely failed. But um, if we had had a party of six, we probably could have done it. So, yeah, anyways, that that's just my opinion. You really need a full party to play Modern Warfare 3 to play it effectively. I mean, it's pretty incredible to do this well and just by yourself. Okay, watch this juggernaut here. Watch this guy. He's like, hey, I'm a pro. Nope. 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 Boom to the face. What you doing, fool? So, yeah. Love the MP9. Great secondary to use, especially extended mags. Not much of an Akimbo fan. It just kind of limits the range too much. So, anyways, like I was saying, Mom Warfare 3, at least have two friends in the game, you know? If you're not going to... If you're not going to have a full party, then you got to get a couple friends in the game just to balance it out, give you a shot at winning. I actually don't even know if we won this game. I remember Yum Yum was saying we made a massive comeback on this game, but I don't know if we did. Hmm. So anyways, guys, the video is wrapping up. Hopefully you liked my second Moab of my life. It was very special to me. Give me a little moment of pride. And it was pretty awesome, pretty badass. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, like the commentary then please rate, comment, subscribe, pulling out the 4,500 point challenge for the win at the end. And in this commentary, it's not going to have any fails. Sorry, guys, but it's just right now the whole PVR thing's not working well. And I just don't want to. It's really hard to record stuff, so I, I can't get the fails. So, anyways, guys, final score is. Dun -dun 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 Boom! 46 at 7. Look at Yum Yum with the 10 assist. How about him? Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.